Okay, so today we've got another peroxide video. Now, as you guys can tell from the title, today I'm finally going to be going over the last of the legendary abilities for Soul Reapers, that being Glacier. And something else you guys may know is that your boy doesn't actually have a built up Soul Reaper account. So just like all the other Soul Reaper videos, I am actually on a subscribers account. And so real quick, I just want to say shout out to the boy Daniel, since without him, this video would not be happening right now. And luckily for me, this account actually has Max Bonkai, Max Vasto Rage, and the stats are actually pretty freaking crazy. So yeah, just a big shout out to him. But yeah, now that we've got all that out of the way, we can move on to the next thing, which is the showcase. And so with all that being said, let's get on to the showcase. All right, so the first move we've got here is my one. So when you click one, as you can see, it actually displays the hitbox for you, which is pretty dope. It's literally just a line right in front of you. The move guard breaks, and it does, in fact, knock back after the explosion. All in all, just a pretty good move. The next move we've got is my two. So when I click two... It's basically the same thing as your one. The difference is this time, instead of knocking the opponent back, it actually knocks the opponent to you. So it's literally a combo extender. And then as you guys saw, once the move actually disappears, it'll shoot like an ice crystal, which also does damage. And so that move, I think, is actually pretty cracked because like I said before, it's literally just your one, but a combo extender, which is really good since as you guys know from my duality video, if you watched it, I love just, you know, abilities that let you, you know, get to M1 and just be in people's faces. I'm not really the range kind of person. Person, so that move is kind of perfect for me but then the last move we've got is my three which i'm not gonna lie is honestly the only move i don't really like in the actual move set but as you can see when we click three basically put your sword into the ground it'll actually launch the person up if they're right in like the center of it and then as you can see it puts down this ice field which while you're standing in will do damage and if you have it max mastery you get these swords around you which also do damage like i said though i don't really like it because you can actually just i mean block the whole thing and then besides that who's gonna fight you on your field like if you really want to be smart about it you could just literally run from it and so there's no actual reason to use the move see so yeah, it'll probably be the only move i don't actually use in pvp but now that we've gone over all the moves we can move on to the next thing which is the Bankai. So when I click G, as you can see, we've got the Bankai. Now, unlike Lightning, this Bankai actually has a decent amount of passives, so we'll be going over all of them. The first passive is that your M2 actually gets changed. So when you click M2, you basically launch a ice arrow that pretty much travels travels across the whole map and it actually does a crap ton of damage. So just to see it again, yeah, you launch an ice arrow and yeah, it does a crap ton of damage. And I think it guard breaks. Actually, it should guard break since it is a heavy attack, your M2. Another passive is that when you walk around, you'll sometimes generate these ice fields. And what this does is that anyone who walks over them actually gets slowed. Something else to note is that all your moves actually apply a freezing effect. So when you hit people with pretty much any of your moves, now they will also get the slowing effect now every other passive this thing has actually has to do with its counter and so this thing pretty much has three different counters which i'm going to try and show the first one we've got is if you actually counter when you're being attacked so pretty much like you normally would with a counter then you will get this pretty much down slam as you can see and i'm pretty sure you can actually combo people off of that if you time it properly the next counter we've got is if you counter without being hit so basically it just means to do a parry without being hit and you cue this really cool just like anime cutscene where you slash between them over and over again and so like i said in order to do that you basically need to counter without actually getting m1 first so you just you know hold f and then click m2 and that's how you activate that and then the third version of the counter is basically where you do the cutscene counter so hold f and then you know do m2 without getting hit once you actually finish the cutscene if you click m2 again you will basically do a body slam which is just extra damage and like i said i think you can combo off of it all right i'm not gonna lie guys i have not been able to hit the third version of the counter you're just gonna have to trust me on what i said but the final thing we have to showcase is the ultimate so when i click four you basically breathe on the opponent freeze them and then you cause a planetary devastation and that ultimate is honestly very cracked because if they survive it, it'll actually knock them down and w you can actually follow them when they get knocked down to then hit them with the freaking like Kamehameha move. So on all in all, it's just a pretty good counter or counter ultimate. So yeah, all in all, I think this Bankai is going to be very freaking good. I really do like that even though it's spirit, it actually does entice you to, you know, get in close range and actually do some damage, which as you guys know, is my preferred play style. So I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, but I won't really know until I actually go into PVP and so 
with all that being said, let's get on to the rank matches. All right, so we got the first match. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm honestly really excited to actually use this thing, mainly because even though this uh, Bankai is actually spirit, I think you can actually really use it with, like, strength, you know, um, play style, because a lot of the moves you can pretty much just use um, in front of people's faces. And so I'm going to try and demonstrate that here, if I can actually get a combo. I think I'm lagging. It's whatever, though. So let me see. If I can land the uh, guard break on this dude, or not the guard break, the two, then that would be great for me chase him off of that all right so here we go bop into the two it'll knock him back into me and so this is just what i'm talking about you see how i can actually get in his face to do damage this is what i like when i was using duality i had felt like i couldn't really do that and so it just did not feel good in my opinion whereas with this i can still get up in people's faces and still be a spirit build which is very nice now right now we are completely just destroying the zoo can i land a tenrin oh yeah tenrin is honestly such a good move because it lets it lets you pretty much combo into anything yeah i'm gonna have to weave that buddy it lets you basically combo into like any soul reaper move known to man did this dude just straight up quit all right he either quit or he's swapping his accessories i don't really know but all right if the dude quit then i'll just cut here but if not then we'll come back to when he's back all right yeah i'm pretty sure the dude quit so we'll just cut on to the next match ggs to this guy all right so we got the next match here now the last dude ended up actually quitting which is pretty funny but we were like actually tossing that dude up so i can see why he did <laughs> Now, like I was saying in that last match, though, I actually really do like this Bankai for the simple fact that I like the fact that uh, you can actually get in people's faces with this thing. Oh, my God. We're against an Apocalypse user. OK, something I do need to get better at, though, with it. You don't you're not close enough. Yeah, that's why he went for the heavy because he knew he wasn't close enough and I messed up my move. Something I do need to get better at, though, is um, using the two as a combo extender since I'm actually 10 ren as a guard. No, he, he beat it, man. I know that was accidental, too, bro. Since, like I said, in the showcase you can actually use it as a combo extender basically like that it's just the timing is so like tight let me i need to get out of this poison the timing for it is so like tight that it's actually very difficult to do i did not think it would be that hard but it really is honestly into the one bro i keep messing up my one i'm missing out on a lot of damage the only thing that sucks about like spirit compared to strength is did i miss oh he just ran right back into it why the heck would you do that i'm gonna see if i can land a raw 10 ren here into the four oh, and of course he used the move that lets him dodge bop all right i'm gonna combo mid m1 go for the oh you see what i mean i keep messing it up yeah i die off of that too wow yeah like i said the thing that sucks about spirit compared to strength is like when you mess up a combo and you can't confirm your move you honestly lose a lot of damage from that like it is actually pretty bad whereas with strength since most of your damage is literally just m1s it's really not that important if you end up missing an attack with this though i can't really say the same thing into the two here wow he actually um flash stepped away and that <laughs> ended up letting me knock him back into it yeah the two is really hard to combo extend off of though man i cannot land it consistently at all i'm gonna dodge that i know he was gonna do it this dude basically just launches it out raw pretty much every time he doesn't try and combo into it i'm gonna launch 10 ren because it's a guard break now off of that we can launch a kamehameha and yeah that's exactly why this move is so freaking good his uh stomp move should be on cooldown but i am expecting it yeah his stomp move is probably up about now so he's probably gonna launch it all right i'll take that i need to just be wary of the uh stomp itself i'm just gonna heal yeah that's what i thought you gotta come to me bucko Oh my god, I literally said he was gonna launch the stomp out and I still ended up getting hit by it. Like, bruh. Should still be winnable though. I'm gonna turn on my mask here. This will help with um damage since it does buff all your stats. That is going to chunk him. I'm gonna let him try and flash step to me, and then off of the flash steps, we go for the 10 rent. What huh? He dodged it. How did he even okay? I'm not gonna ask, bruh. Bop into the kicks. I missed. Okay, we well, still got hit by the raw flame, so we take those. Go behind them. Can we land the combo extension? And I messed it up, bro. I literally just cannot hit that thing. All right, we're going to knock him away. Okay, well, didn't work how I wanted it to, but I mean, at least we killed him. Oh, crap. He's got the heart thing, bro. I didn't even know. Oh, my God. I thought he was just dead, but he revived. What? Okay, that's actually kind of shocking. Most people don't. I'm going to go for Tenrin here. Oh, damn. He was just out of range. Most people don't really ever run the heart thing, so that kind of surprised me. He's just camping his poison. It's not something you really see people do a lot. I mean, it's whatever, though. Yeah, this dude's literally just camping his poison, which I guess is something you can do if you want people to go into the poison, but I think it's more or less just boring, in my opinion. All right, managed to land a combo on him. We can do this. This might kill him, I'm pretty sure. No, he's alive. Bro, this dude has so much HP. All right, he's in the poison again. Again, I mean, like I said, I'm down to just wait. We can, this is still um, easily winnable since I do have my really strong Bankai. All right, dodge that. 
Launch the Kamehameha, and yeah, I saw your little uh, arrow thingy, bro. So I just tracked him, and then he ran into the Kamehameha. Now we can just heal, which I think is absolutely hilarious that Soul Reapers can do this. Bro didn't even pop his Quincy ability. Damn, you didn't want me healing that badly? Oh my god. That's actually so bad for him. Yeah, because look, now he has to go in the entire animation, and he wasted his flash escape right there. But, oh, bro, I just ran into his M1s. No way, man. Bop, bop, bop. Oh my god, I keep messing up the combo extender, man. I'm gonna go for a 10 run. Damn it, we missed. And there's the guard break. That's actually so bad. I've got a Bankai here. Yeah, I'm just gonna Bankai. All right, we'll pop the Bankai here. This isn't that bad since he's got a decent amount of health. And if I can build up my mass, remember, we do still have Vasto Rage, which is something very important. This dude is playing really weirdly, though. Like, he's a strength user, but he doesn't actually go in. It's mainly me going in first. Bop, bop. No, I still. Oh, wait, okay. I thought I met. Oh, that's actually huge. We can combo off of this. Oh, what? oh, okay. He just matched that. Go into the arrow move. Damn, we missed. Bop, bop, bop. Into this. That'll do some big damage since when you're in Bankai, you actually get the stat buff. Bop, bop, bop. Knock him back into the Kamehameha. And he's outside of the storm, by the way. He's going to get chunked from that. That's hilarious. Ooh, counter. Yep. Give me that. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. That's a free arrow. Yep. Get hit by that. All right. He's going to have to do something here. I'm going to evasive that. Go for 10 Ren. And we can pop alt here too. He's going to get hit by that. And now, like I said before, when somebody gets hit by this, you can actually like work off of it. So I'm going to see where he land. And I messed it up. Never mind. I wasn't freaking in shift lock. So I ended up messing up the uh, actual move, the like combo extension. So that's definitely annoying. But match the M1s here into the one. Damn, I messed it up. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. I ended up messing. Up. I'm going to see if I can get the animation counter on him. Counter. Yep, there we go. We got it. And now I can do the third version of the counter where I walk up to him and do the slam down. And we can launch the Kamehameha here since he has to get up. It's exactly why the counters on this thing are so freaking broken. Stand up now into the four. What the hell? Okay, he just launched that out raw. I mean, I guess it's an option you have. Bop into that. This is going to do a lot. Yeah, we, bro. I don't think there's any way this dude can win this. We are just absolutely destroying this dude. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think we just win this. If he wants to stall, I get my ultimate back in like 20 seconds. Go into the counter. Yep, thank you very much. He has to stand up now. We hit him with that. He used his evasion, which is big for us, honestly. Yeah, I did we just win off of this? He might just die. Nah, he's still alive. I'm gonna see, can I like fatality this dude and hit him with the uh, animation counter? That'd be cool as heck. Bop, and yeah, we got him because of the hands. That's actually super funny. He's alive. Oh, the heart, bro. Oh my God. The freaking heart modifier has actually been coming through. M2, this dude. Oh, we missed. He doesn't even have maxed out vault standing. That is hilarious. Into the Kamehameha. This should kill him. Oh, he's got his evasive. My boy, you are definitely losing this. 10 Ren, and yeah, he's dead. Yeah, this freaking Bankai is insane, man. All right, we got the next match here. Now, since the last match was actually a pretty long match, I think after this one, I'll do one more, and then I'll just call it a video. But honestly, bro, I've been having so much fun with this Bankai slash Shikai, bro. This is a way better experience than what duality was. Because like I said, I love the fact that I can just go up in people's faces and be able to do damage. You know, I don't need to like run away and play range and stuff like that was the part that I didn't like and it just did not fit me at all. Looks like we're against a Astra user here. So this should be pretty interesting. Knock him back. Why did you do that? Go for 10 Ren. Did I hit him? Oh my God. I think I did hit him, but his uh, Lance actually canceled mine into that. Wait, that doesn't guard break. I thought the fire move did guard break. Bop, bop, bop. Knock him back. Oh, I didn't get the knockback. Damn it. Yeah, I will say I have been messing up my combos a lot, mainly because we're using dual swords, bro. The six M1s that you get with dual swords really just messes me up since I'm so used to just uh, counting up to five instead of six. So it really does just mess me up. Bop. There we go. We finally got the combo extension, which is actually pretty big. That's big for damage. I'm going to see. Can I get a raw uppercut here? That's huge. Bop. Into the fire move. Oh, I thought he was going to uh, stand closer to me, and then I go for a 10 run and just kill him. Um, I think if I land my one, this dude just loses by the way so that should be pretty good yeah astra is honestly really annoying because it's like one of the only resurrections that can kind of just solo set itself up with that freaking stun move at least i think this is astra i could just be wrong oh i didn't even know there was a wall there i'm gonna go for the one damn yeah i knew he had his evasive so i wanted to go for it early this dude is one shot if i land like anything on him into the three wait that move has hyper armor damn i didn't know that okay he gets his resurrection i'm gonna pop my mask and my bankai that way i take less of this as possible and if he kills us now i can actually um go into vasto rage which would be pretty big perfect block that thank you very much knock him back into the combo extender okay he uses evasive i am glad that i've been able to land the uh combo extension a lot more frequently if i can land a 10 ren here that's a guard break bucko into the all and then yep all right now when this dude gets sent somewhere what i'm gonna do is actually chase him and i should be able to land a kamehameha 
Oh, I'm too... Oh, wait, that actually worked. Oh, he's going to get guard broken at the end. Yeah, he had to evasive. That actually worked perfectly. I was just a little bit off. So that's annoying. Hit him with the fatality. Oh, we didn't even get to do that. But I can land the one off of that. Oh, I missed again, man. Into the three, that guard breaks. Yep. And he should just die. Yep, there we go. Yeah, bro. Glacier is insane. I love this thing. The counters are amazing. The ultimate is super good. Like, the play style is great. I actually really do love this thing, man. I'm. Can I get the fatality? Oh, my God. I actually got it, bro. This animation is so cool. Hit him with the third counter as well. Yep. Body slam that dude. Wait until he gets up into the four. Oh, I messed up the timing. See, can I land the M2 here? Ice arrow? Damn, we missed. There's no real reason to not just launch out the ice arrow raw, honestly, because it's like super free. All right, dash back into him. Bop, bop. Into that. This will do a lot of damage. Now I can chase him. See if I can land an uppercut here. Yep. There we go. Bop, bop. Did this dude just say he quits? Oh my. The dude left, bruh. All right, we got the next match, and this is actually going to be the last one. Normally, because the last guy left, I would actually do another one. However, it is pretty late over where I'm at. And so because of that, I've decided that this is just gonna be the last one but honestly i think this video has been pretty well bro i've pretty much done everything that i wanted to in terms of actually like using the bankai and like just um mid video opinions this thing is crazy bro like i actually really do like this bankai a lot into the fire move okay well i missed it but i totally meant to do that to just get the guard break bob knock him back we can combo extend off of this we can combo extend again oh i messed it up i didn't get the kick that actually still tracked me. Wow, okay. I'm just gonna evasive that. Oh my god, the freaking icicle hit him. That's hilarious. We can perfect block. Or not perfect block. Knock him back. <laughs> Bro, I always mess it up, man. That'll guard break, yeah. The last hit of it actually still guard breaks, so it's not the worst thing if uh, we don't end up landing it bop bop into the one again yeah like i said though i've been having an absolute blast just using this thing i think it is very good oh my i'm stupid i literally looked at him used it and didn't even do anything bro all right i'm gonna see if i can land a raw tenrin here so into the four since it guard breaks yep and then okay i'm a bit of a dummy i'm not gonna lie i use the two even though he's got to be far away instead of right in my face bro all right let's see i've got everything oh i didn't need to perfect block that okay i'm just pop my bankai here why not if we can land my ultimate on him then he pretty much just loses not much he can really do about it bop bop into the one here he perfect blocked it no way bro right, let me see can i do five m1 bop bop into the common behind yep that worked perfectly he had, did have to evasive that i'm gonna just launch my ultimate out oh no we missed the reason why i just launched my uh, ultimate out raw like that is because the ultimate actually has a uh, super armor so even if oh my bro i don't know what i'm doing even if you launch it out raw the move will still in fact um he should just be dead from this yeah he is dead even if you launch it out raw, the move will still go off since, like I said, you do have the super armor on it. So anytime somebody perfect block that, anytime somebody is pretty much comboing you up or is going to start comboing you up, you can just launch that move out and there's no real downside to it. All right, I'm going to flash escape into the four. This might work. Never mind. I'm trash. Counter? Oh my, bro, I messed up the counter and he landed his. Okay, bro. Well, I just ran back into his M1. All right, give me that counter. Thank you very much. Now you got to stand up into the two. That'll not come back into me. Bob, comment me high here. Yep, thank you. I I think he escaped it though yeah he did go for a flash escape but he literally stood right in it afterwards so what was the point i don't think he'll be able to kill me with my mask on but i honestly would not mind having a um a vasto rage in this video since it is actually something i always love getting i'm gonna see can i land the fatality oh bro one second later and i would have gotten it right there we are close to dying though i'm gonna go for a 10 ren oh he's screwed yep into the ultimate now he's gonna get hit as soon as he wakes up and that is death honestly this is a pretty good way to die so you should be happy with this one bro but yeah ggs to that guy so like i said that is going to be the last match all in all bro this bankai is absolutely insane it is definitely a big step up from the video that i did on duality since i'm not gonna lie bro after that duality video like my thinking on spirit was just that everything was gonna be like this but after using this yeah i was wrong the fact that this is a spirit it bankai but it has the gameplay that like kind of makes you you know actually need to go up to people to fight is just amazing i think it works really well since most of the moves actually do a lot of damage so even though you are putting yourself in harm's way by going up to people you know the incentive is that yeah your moves actually hit really hard your one is a very good just combo ender that does a crap ton of damage two is a free combo extender if you're not trash like me and you can actually land it consistently and then the little ice field move even though i didn't use it in this video i I guess it could have some like you know uses but i don't know that is the only move that i actually don't like the Bonka, on the other hand is just perfect i love the fact that your m2 is basically just a free sniper that you can launch out whenever and it does a lot of damage and then the three passives you have are crazy the normal counter itself is good because it'll stun them
them, and then while they're in the animation of getting up, you can hit them with literally any move. The fatality freaking counter, where you just do the get freaking anime slashes, is just amazing. Since not only does that do a lot of damage, but then you can literally do another move off of that to slam them down, which will then in turn, you know, put them in the get up animation, and then you hit them with whatever you want. And so yeah, just the passives are absolutely insane. And then the ultimate does a crap ton of damage, has super armor, and you can combo off of it if you actually follow them when they're falling. So yeah, all in all, man, just the Bankai is absolutely insane. I love this thing, and I would recommend it to anybody. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed and want to see any more Peroxide videos, then please do make sure to leave a like on the video, since it really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. And before I actually end the video, I just want you guys to know that your boy does have a Discord, so if you want to join that, then go ahead and do so. Link should be down in the description. And yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.